Hi, my name is Alyssa Scott, and I'll be playing Lila from The Romantics. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. You're right on time. No, not about the flowers. I, I saw Tom last night. That's nice. Did you two have a chance to catch up? I mean, Tom wasn't alone last night. He was with me. We were together. Why are you telling me this? This doesn't concern me. It doesn't? He's a groom. I'd be concerned if he wasn't nervous before his wedding night. Well, if he was in love with someone else, would that concern you? Laura, this chapter is over. Lila, I love him. Yes, and I feel sorry for you. You know I've tried to change these feelings. I've done everything. Other guys, other towns, other jobs. And they say that it gets easier with time, but it doesn't. If anything, the more time that passes, the more I miss him. You know he feels the same way. He always has, and you know that. You are my maid of honor. Yes, and I've done everything possibly that I can to fulfill that obligation. I thought I could get through this. I did, but I can't. And he can't either. He doesn't want this either. Do you remember sophomore year, the LIT Christmas party when you wore my dress? The red one I bought especially for the event? You took that too without asking. And when I went to get ready for the event, my dress was missing. Oh, you know that I saw that dress on Chapel Street. We saw it in the window at Nellie's. I picked it out and you went back and bought it. And I was the editor of LIT. It was my night. It was my occasion. Or the time I got the apple tattoo and then a week later you got the same one. You saw me draw that in 19th century novel, okay? And all of a sudden you show up and have it branded on your tailbone. Freshman, sophomore. Every year of college when I provided you with months of meticulous notes for finals and you feel entitled to my things because you want them? Fine. You win, Lila. You provided me with the meticulous study notes. But you know what? I inspired your best ideas. And when you got together with Tom, senior spring, I was still dating him. Why? Are you doing this to me right now? Because you're about to marry a man and I don't think you should. You just can't bear to see me happy and so you have to trash it with your emotions. No, Lila, you deserve to be with someone who is in love with you, totally and completely. How dare you try to pass this off as an act of friendship? This is sabotage. No, this takes courage. Courage? That's funny. I'm not trying to hurt you. Yes, you are. That is your intention. This has nothing to do with Tom. This is about me and you and your envy. No, you can't do this. You can't bully me anymore. Obviously, I am torn. And as your friend, I do want what's best for you. But I can't keep putting you ahead of me forever. My gosh. You're delusional. You actually think you're entitled to my fiance. This is not a difficult or complicated situation, Laura. This is very simple. I've won and you're jealous. Jealous? That'd be you. Your groom is in love with another woman. He asked me to marry him, not you. Oh, this is certainly tragic, debatably interesting. But it really doesn't matter anymore because he's marrying me in 10 minutes. But he cheated on you. 
No. You did. <laughs>